Recently, my girlfriend and I moved into a new house where the landlord conveniently already provides the internet. We're both biologists in our late 20s, and today discovered that Safe Search is on through some entirely innocent and work-related web searches. How do we ask our landlord to remove Safe Search without him immediately jumping to the conclusion that we want to desecrate his house with filthy, unspeakable pornography? That's from Not So Lewd Lodgers in Leeds, UK. Well, my theory, my supposition would be that if you have some sort of safe search software enabled, some sort of sort of net nanny, mm-hmm. that there's some sort of whitelisting that you could do, right? Which makes me know. Or I, it, I feel like all you have to do is go to your landlord and tell them exactly the nasty URLs that you are going to be exploring. Yeah. Um, this is tough. Why do because they do yeah, this? I I understand. That it's probably ninety nine point nine percent of the time not for unspeakable things. Yeah, but what about that point one percent? You don't want to go to them and be like, "Hey, thanks for letting us look at like, I don't know, bird genitals or whatever," because we're biologists. But also, but we actually, yeah. I gotta tell you, Mark, we accidentally did look at a dick today, and we need you to tighten up the algorithms, Mark, because <laughs> this is a cool, this is a Christian <laughs> household. That's his deal. His deal is he'll turn off safe search, but if you, it's an honor system. Yeah, right? yeah, you yeah. see anything that you're not supposed to, you have to go tell Mark. You let Mark. me know, and I'll explain it to you. Yeah. I'll, I'll make what you saw make sense. I promise <laughs> I won't leave you alone in this. <laughs> this is, hey, this... Mark, I saw some, and they look like adults doing some stuff to each other. I'm like, oh, okay, sit down. I've so, walked so many tenants through this. Okay, listen, here's uh, some this works. It was the mommy-daddy hug. Do you know what I'm talking about? You know, Mark. You know. <laughs> also, our disposal's broken. The disposal's yeah. broken, and I can't get my sights to load where they do the special mommy-daddy hug. Can you come tweak both? Why are they dancing so hard, Mark? They seem so angry at each other. This... There's no music. If you're, at, like, there, we're fairly positive that your landlord is able to see your entire internet history, right? If this is the setup, like 100%, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. If I it's literally like, this sounds like you're connected straight to his Gmail account. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yes. You can use it all as logins. Yeah, you have to go borrow his his uh, his lappy, his laptop yeah, every yeah, time the, you- The computer is in the dining room that you all share, and your landlord is also your dad. Yeah, You can just admit it. <laughs> your dad, Lord. Yeah, for complimentary internet access, you just have to come to my place <laughs> and ask the- <laughs> Use my web book. Yeah. And I'll crack it open for you. My web book. And it's just a sticker on it that just says the internet on it. <laughs> when the dad lord lets us use the internet, sometimes we see some sites. <laughs> I think you should have a conversation with Mark about whether he keeps the net nanny on, on his computer. Because yeah. if he's doing that, then fair, you know, fair play. Fair play. But Ask not, him, he needs to let you <laughs> get to all the nasty corners you need. Ask him if you can pay extra for the dirty sites in your in your rental agreement. We'll, we'll increase, just like how you have a pet addendum, this is just like, yeah, you can look at whatever you want for an extra $50 a month. Let me I'll choose that net name three out. dirty sites on your <laughs> premium package on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, that sucks, and it sh- I don't think it's legal. I think you should be able to do something about that. I don't know who you complain to. The better biz the better business bureau. Um somebody. Somebody. I don't know if they do that in the UK, but um this, there's got to be there has to be an answer to this that we don't know because it's such a preposterous situation. It shouldn't be happening. Do you have a 14-year-old nephew who oh. you could ask for like the creative spellings of words that he uses? Oh yeah. To like search yeah. He could probably hook you up. He's probably he's, got some weird ones. He, he's like, have you tried typing in Stiffy? Stiffy sometimes <laughs> gets through. <laughs> Stiffies and... Uh, Surprisingly, not, teats works quite if you, often. If you type in teats but not cow, sometimes you can get through. <laughs> teats minus cow. Teats. It, it, there's a thin, There's a thin crack in the mm-hmm. wall. 